That's the way it's supposed to work, Adam. Give me the documents first so we have something to talk about at the deposition. You know, I, I can't believe this. You plaintiff's lawyers are all the same. It's either your way or the highway. Can't get my documents. How about thanks? How about thanks, Adam, for bringing all this stuff together? I busted my butt to get this stuff for you. Let's get the deposition going. Come on. Uh, I apologize for this, sir. I can't believe you want me to thank you. You could have shot me an email. You could have picked up the phone and called me to let me know that I was going to be getting this information the day of the deposition. I would have come here yesterday. I would have come here last night. I would have spent the time that's required to review these materials before I take the witness's deposition. You didn't do anything like that. This, this isn't going to happen. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to look at all of these documents. That's the way it's going to work. And then we're going to have a deposition. Unless you will agree that you will bring this witness back after I've had a reasonable opportunity to review these materials. Oh, no friggin' way. This guy is not coming back again. It's either today or never. Look, this guy's got a 1 o'clock flight to catch. He's got to be at the airport at 11.30, and it's 9 o'clock. Come on, let's go. Let's get your deposition done. <clears throat> We're not going forward with the deposition. I'm going to read these documents first, every single one of them. That's the way it's going to happen today. I'm sorry, Adam, but you've given me no choice. Well, you want to get the judge on the phone and, and sit and complain to him about... Oh, I'm so slow getting through these documents. Oh, let's interrupt the judge, who's a busy guy, and tell him that you can't get your work done. He's going to love it. I think that's a good idea, and I wish I would have thought of that first, Adam. Let's get the judge on the phone. This is ridiculous. No, you know what's ridiculous? It's your abuse of the discovery system. We're going to get this thing started soon. You know, you're going to start asking questions. I've got to get out of here. Let's roll. I'm sorry, sir, but you can't go. I'm going to have to have a chance to go. Stupid Cinnabon case I've been working on. Mm -hmm. um, we uh, we did a 30 v 6 deposition the other day. Man, did I score big time on that thing. Uh, I showed up right before the deposition and I dumped a thousand, at least a thousand documents right on this guy's desk. Man, Victor, victim was totally pit. I mean, he couldn't, he didn't even know what to say. He couldn't say a word. We scored big time on that. I anyway, uh, you know, I think. The, the judge is going to want us in chambers and, you know, then the thinks I could need your help. You know, Adam, we've talked about this before, and you know how I feel about this. It's bad practice. It's bad business. It costs our clients a lot of money. Uh, the judge is not going to be happy with you, uh, and this isn't the first time I've had to go and uh, hold your hand. You know, look, honey, you, you, never, you never move up uh, if you don't play the discovery game, you know. Whatever, it's your loss is my gain here. Look, Vic filed this motion to compel, and he wants me to produce my 30B6 guy again so he can ask stupid questions over this pile of crap I gave him. Uh, it's set this Friday. Um, now, it's, all, it's in the same court where I was last time on the Blackman case, and, and that judge got pretty pissed off at me. Um, and rightfully so. Well, no, I disagree with that, but what I really need your help in is that he really thinks a lot of you, and I think your relationship with that judge will, will help me out a lot. You know what? That is not what I want to do here. I'm going to talk to Edna, and if I have to go, I'm going to go. Connie, but I'm not, I'm not doing this again, Adam. Connie, don't, don't worry about it. I've got everything under control. All you have to do is show up, look pretty, <clears throat> not say a thing. I'm in control. You will really enjoy the arguments I have for this judge. You know what, Adam? I'll go if I have to. Like I said, you're my friend. I think it's time for us to start talking about this in a different kind of way. Can, can I, 
don't worry about it. I've got everything under control. Just be with me there on Friday, okay? I'll, I'll see you there. <clears throat> All right, Adam. I'll see you there. Good morning, good morning. Have a seat, please. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. Well, let's see what we have here. Uh, looks like we have our uh, motion to compel discovery filed by the plaintiff. That's uh, you, Mr. Victim. Is that right? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, why don't you take a minute to kind of outline your motion for us? Thank you, Your Honor. A little over two years ago, we filed uh, this lawsuit. It was based on an injury that my client suffered outside of a Cinnabon store in Indianapolis. Shortly after the defendant answered the complaint, we began to request discovery. Our discovery requests were narrowly tailored to the claims and issues in the lawsuit. Uh, they included interrogatories and requests for production related to the Cinnabon store in question, uh, its operations, and the incident that occurred where my client was injured. Uh, many months have passed since we requested that information from the defendant. So to move the case along, uh, we noticed a 30B6 deposition of the defendant, uh, even though we hadn't received the information that we requested. Uh, when I arrived at the deposition, Your Honor, Mr. Abuser greeted me with thousands of documents. He just dropped them in front of me and he said, Cinnabons has now completed its discovery and this is all you're getting. He then told me, you are going to have to look at these documents right now because our 30B6 designee is here for today and today only. Oh, and by the way, he has an early afternoon flight to catch, so get going on your document review. Frankly, Your Honor, I was dumbfounded by this behavior. Uh, I uh, uh, am asking that the court uh, order Cinnabons to produce its witness again and to impose sanctions on Cinnabons for this conduct. Thank you. Very good. All right, uh, uh, Mr. Abuser, uh, have a response? Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I find it extremely ironic that Mr. Victim is uh, complaining about our complete and thorough discovery in this case. I personally spent hours, in fact days, in a warehouse for Cinnabons reviewing their archive documents uh, at substantial and significant expense to our client, uh, pulling together all responsive documents uh, in response to Ms. Mr. Victim's request, and uh, we produced them as soon as we could gather all of them. You know, frankly, Your Honor, it is not Cinnabon's fault, nor my fault, that Mr. Victim's request was so expansive that it took so long to pull the documents together. Now, as to Mr. Witness, um, he did have a family matter, and he needed to catch his plane that day. I, I think his daughter was getting married, or his mother was ill. I can't recall exactly now. So he needed to leave that day, and we no, again, notified Mr. Victim as soon as we knew what the problem was, we told him. Now, um, we want to continue our spirit of cooperation, and we think we have been extremely cooperative and responsive with Mr. Victim. So we would agree to have uh, Mr. Witness return to the state for a deposition and voluntarily sit down for a couple days and, and answer the questions. Uh, now, working with Mr. Witness on other cases, I do understand that he has a very tight schedule and likely will not be able to block out two days for a deposition, at least for four months. 